Hey guys, today I have a haul the haul. I didn't get very much stuff, um, mostly just tools, but uh, I thought I would share with you guys anyway. Sorry. All right, the first thing I got was these um, cotton pads. I use these for toner and makeup remover, and um, I love the Ulta ones. I feel like they're really soft, and you get 80, and I think most of the time you get under 80 like at the drugstore and stuff, so I like that. And then um, I got a couple brushes. I got three Real Technique Techniques brushes. Um, the first one I got was the Expert Face Brush. I have this one already, and it's pretty much the only brush I use for foundation, so I got a backup um, because I'm terrible with washing my brushes and that way I can also use two different foundations um, I do it anyway but I mean have one brush for whatever foundation and the next one I got was the stippling brush which I don't have this brush and I've been wanting to try it so I'm excited about this one and I love the real techniques brushes and I thought this would be good for cream products and stuff and then the last real techniques brush that I got was the lash and brow groomer. I like this because it has like the metal comb for your lashes and I've never tried that. And I feel like that would be really awesome in getting like massive separation. So I'm excited to try that. And then I got the Eco Tools um, buffing brush. It's like flat. It's not super dense. Um, it's just really soft and kind of loosely packed in. And I'm not 100% sure what to use it for yet, but I really, I actually really like the handle too. It's kind of like, they don't usually do this, but their brushes, um, is, they're usually just one, like here. They're usually just like thin. This is the powder brush, this is what I already used on my face today. Um, but this one has like a big fat handle right here, so it's like super easy to hold in your hand. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure what to use this for. This might be good for bronzer too. I like flat top brushes for bronzer, bronzer, for bronzer, but this one is kind of like loosely, it's not very dense, so I just don't know if that'd be good for blending or not, but I'm excited to try this brush out. I really love the Eco Tools brushes and they've been redoing their line. They used to look like this with like the silver and the brown, like orangey colored bristles and now they look like this with like the brown like dark brown on top and they have this like brown bronzy color um feral and then the bristles i feel like are so much softer so i'm really excited about that i've been um uh, replacing all of my eco tools brushes recently and giving the old ones so I had every single one of them so I've been giving them to my mom and my sister-in-law <laughs> and then um, the last tool I got was I lost my pencil sharpener and so I got this one I think this was $1.99 or 99 cents it's the essence brand and it's got a big hole and a small hole and then it has the top to catch all the shavings which mine didn't have anyway so that was kind of exciting and blue is my favorite color, so I went ahead and got it in blue. They had like a dozen colors. And then I got I got two makeup things that I'd never tried before. Um, the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black is my favorite liner ever. I use it like every single day. But um, I've never tried brown liner. And so I got the same brand in, yeah, it's just called brown. And so I thought this would be really cool to try. I've been wearing a peachy eye, and I thought brown would probably be really pretty like pretty liner for peach actually i have peachy eyes on today i just filmed um a tutorial for this look so uh look out for that i don't know what i'm gonna call it yet but something peachy because it's all peachy but anyway <laughs> back to the liner i'm pretty excited about trying this i don't i can't tell if it's gonna be really really dark or not um the picture makes it look like it might be pretty dark so i'm kind of excited about that i don't know how distinguishable between black and brown it's going to be, I know it'll just look probably a little less harsh. And then I got an NYX cream blush. This is in rose petal. It's like a really pretty color. It's kind of like a gray tone pink. It doesn't look like it at all, but it's just like a muted pink. And um, 
I've never tried a cream blush before and I thought that I would and these were pretty inexpensive and I just I love blush period so I thought I would give this a whirl I think this color looks really pretty and that is all I got from Ulta <laughs> um, but yeah if you guys have any questions about anything that I just showed you go ahead and let me know in the comments and if you want to see anything reviewed or in action go ahead and let me know in the comments and I hope you guys are having a good day I'll see ya